Colin Murray. I'm the Executive Director with Game by Local. Thank you for joining us. Um, we have um, some material to cover, and it will um, be something hopefully that will be of interest to, to most, if not all of you here. And then um, we'll have opportunity for questions and answers as well as we go through the uh, material. So just uh, hype up if uh, something comes to mind that you want to find out about. So before we begin the presentation, though, maybe we can just go around the room and each person can introduce themselves, including the business that you're with. Andrew? I am Andy Weitz, um, and I've been doing web development here in town for a long time, but I'm right now I'm working with DesignCraft, just started with them, so that's what I'm here for. Andy goes way back with uh, Dane by Local, too. He was our first technology person, <laughs> so back in 2004. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm Dan Donahue. I own the Chocolate Caper in Oregon. So Brand new owner. Yes, new owner as of last year. So we're just getting that going. Uh, Mason Tickenen with Modus Financial. Hi, Angela Ron, Ideal Sell today. Great question. Jan Ford, I'm a distributor for It Works Global. Kelly Rome is a genetics museum. Erica Justin, Let's Glow Yoga. Tim Fell with Greater Galaxy Web Design. Linda Ramachatis with WisconsinMade.com. Mary Langer with Tree Zaki Designs. Meredith Rhodes Carson from the State Board Health Coaching. I'm Devin Renner. I do sales and marketing for True Coffee Roasters in Pittsburgh. And <clears throat> Kelly Stark King from Drake & Company Staffing Solutions. And uh, my little fun project is on weekends. Uh, we have a business called TheLawWearShop.com. Now, well, where? Well, where? Alex, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, Alex Dish, uh, Greater Galaxy Web Design. Jason. Jason Haithman with Project Home. Okay. So, thank you for joining us again. So, just a, a point of introduction as far as how we got to this point. Uh, as we're talking to people, first of all, next slide. Um, Dane by Local, as you probably know, is more than just Dane County. We actually cover Rock, Columbia, Green, Sauk, Dodge, Jefferson, and Iowa counties. Um, and essentially what it is is that if the county touches Dane County, it's included in our footprint. But the vast majority of our members are in Dane County uh, as far as uh, the members are concerned. Um, we expanded that, Kelly probably remembers this way back when, uh, in 2005 maybe, where we expanded outside of Dane County um, because we have people that are right over the border. So Edgerton, Sauk City, and so forth. So we expanded our, our reach a little bit there to, to include those other areas. But primarily most of our members, the high majority of our members are in Dane County. Um, so one of the questions that I ask people when they um, are talking to me is, how's your business? And maybe this looks like your sales chart. It goes up and it goes down and, and it's constantly changing. It'd be nice to even it out from time to time, but, but uh, uh, that doesn't always happen. And the one common thread that I hear, particularly from retail, is Amazon is killing me. And if you've ever seen an Amazon warehouse, it probably looks something like this. So Amazon, all the boxes that are down on the floor are being shipped that day. So that's you know a lot of boxes that are going out. And then what you see, the racks in the back, those are actually four sets of floors with back stock for future shipments that are going out. So Amazon has a huge uh, arrangement set up as far as shipping out uh, materials. This is one of 50 warehouses that they have uh, stocked just like this. And they just recently opened a warehouse in Racine in fact, if you drive down the interstate, you can see it. Um, it's right. It's a monster of a building. It's a, a million square feet. It's gigantic. And just to kind of visualize that, it's, the warehouse is about the same size as East Town Mall. So that's what they've got. Just one of their 50 warehouses that they've got stock going out of. So it's no surprise that Amazon is making an, a, a dent on the local businesses as far as uh, getting, bus uh, getting uh, sales out there. So I've heard on a national scale that Amazon is now biting into about 15% of the retail store's business. So it, it makes a difference. And, and some are feeling it more than others, certainly, but, but there is that, uh, that 
that pain that's taking place. So when people talk about Amazon is killing me or eBay or the internet sales, I have two questions that I ask them. The first one is, how's your website? And most people will say, I hate my <laughs> website. I, I hate it, I don't like it, it's, uh, I'm gonna change it, I need updating, I've ignored it. Whatever the case might be, they're not happy with their website. They need to, to do something about it. Um, or they tell, tell us it's under construction, or they tell us it's too complicated because they need to do all these different things to it, or they are waiting for something to happen and time just keeps ticking along and it never seems to get done. So it can be a challenge uh, as far as the website itself is concerned. The second question I ask them is, do you sell online? And when I find a lot of the Day My Local members that they do not sell online, that uh, they, they may show product there, but they don't actually sell anything. A good example of that would be uh, Orange Tree Imports. Orange is very savvy when it comes to retailing. In fact, she's written a couple of books. She's interviewed on a regular basis. But if you go on her website, you can't buy anything off her website. You can look at it, but then you have to go into the store to actually purchase anything. And so that can become an issue on its own. And then also, as far as payment is concerned, how do I handle all of the, the different options that are out there and, and make it all happen? And it's enough to say, yeah, <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it. And I understand that, I get that. Um, it, it can be a, a challenge, but hope, there is hope. We do have a solution. And hopefully it's something that will work into what, uh, what you are currently doing in your businesses so that uh, you'll see some success. And we're setting this up so that it happens just as the holidays come up so that we can be ready to rumble for November, December. So that's really the goal. And we've been working on this for about, what, three months now? We've gone through a number of different ideas and scenarios and some of you actually even got in on the first beta testing, which didn't last very long because um, we ran into trouble almost right away. Um, so we had to back out of that deal and, and regroup. Um, but we feel that we've come up with a solution that uh, uh, we can talk about now. So one of the things you're probably thinking as you walk in the door is how much is this all gonna cost? And I get it, I would be walking in the door and asking the same thing myself. So we're gonna address that fairly quick just so we get that out of the way and we can move forward. And the, the broad answer there is it depends. And it really depends where you're at as far as uh, um, how much it's going to cost. The other issues that go into play is shipping. So we're gonna talk about that as well. But it doesn't really have to be um, e-commerce against brick and mortar. Um, it can really be that we work together and combine things. And there's a new phrase out there, new at least to me, I just recently heard of this, called brick and click. Anybody heard that phrase before? One? Okay, so brick and click is something that Macy's actually started. And they have dumped a ton of money into this to make this happen. And essentially what it is, is that you go online, you shop online, you pick something that uh, you might be interested in, you place the order there, and then you go into Macy's and actually pick it up. So brick and click. It's actually click and brick would be a more accurate way of saying that, but that's the way they phrase it. So you're combining the two efforts together. Okay. Like restaurants are doing it. Yeah, yeah, same kind of concept there. So um, Macy's was the one that started it, and it seems to be something that's actually catching on. So Nordstrom's, Best Buy, and Walmart have really been the ones that have jumped on the bandwagon early with Macy's to do this. And if you look at their stocks for the past 12 months, you can see that most of them are having good success. Best Buy is bumbling along, but did recover later in the year as things progressed. But when you compare that to Amazon, look at Amazon's down at the bottom. So as far as uh, percentage of increase and in effectiveness, um, you can see that there seems to be something to this brick and click idea that's taking place, as opposed to just being order online and wait for it to show up from UPS or whomever. Um, so 
um, it, it's something to pay attention to. And that is definitely something that we can work into uh, the plan as far as uh, uh, local businesses are concerned. Okay. So um, again, you may be thinking, well, what about the money? And you know, you probably have a champagne taste and a beer budget um, <laughs> if you're like me. And so we're going to try to answer your questions and, and get to the root of all of, uh, this information. We'll get to money right now. So um, as far as the program itself is concerned, if you have, well, let me back up. There are two different kinds of people that are probably in the room right now. Those who currently offer um, e-commerce and those who do not offer e-commerce but are interested in getting involved in it, okay? So you may or may not know that I have a small side business outside of being by locals an art business. Um, we do pop-up shows like Art Fair on the Square type thing on the weekends. Okay, so we travel all over the Midwest and every, virtually every weekend during the summer we're doing a, a, an art show. And so um, I have a very basic Facebook page, fan page, that has my business information on it. You can barely look at any of the material on there. It's really just telling you where we're going to be next. Okay, so I don't have any e-commerce on there at all, nothing of that nature. Versus Kelly's business with the t-shirts, she already has e-commerce set up and you can go on her web page and you can actually purchase right now from what she's got. So you probably fit in one of those two categories, either like what I've got or what, what Kelly has, and we're gonna address both of those um, things. So if you're set up like Kelly, then all you really um, need to do as far as we're concerned is be part of the um, group of people that will be represented on the webpage, on Dane by Locals webpage, as being a shop online opportunity, okay? So this will be, um, what we'll be talking about now for the rest of the for the afternoon. Let me pass out a sheet here. How many people here have a website where you can actually purchase on your website right now? That's, that's yes. And how, many, how many don't have any website at all? Don't have a website at all? Or, uh, um, e -commerce? Like have your items, you can see your items like orange. You can see oh. the items on her website, but you can't purchase. Okay. So that's kind of our two different groups. Right, right. Yeah. So the top section there is what we're going to be covering first, yeah, which is $10 a month to get into the program. This would cover for everyone, whether you currently have a page or not. So what we'll be doing, if you can go to the website. Yeah. We'll show you what we've got. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah. Nice website. Yeah. <laughs> Lark.com. We're using Lark's computer, can you tell? Okay. So while well, we're waiting for that, so we will have a button on the home page that'll say shop online. You'll click that and anybody who's participating in that, there will be a list of those businesses that will be shown on that page um, that you can be part of. Okay, so it's um, uh, included in that. Um, I gotta switch my notes here. You that, thought there that that would just link through to the existing yeah, conversation exactly. that people have? Yeah, exactly. Right. I don't know if you put a button up there yet, because there's nothing on the page yet, but I do oh. have, um, this will be kind of a rough idea of what the page will look like. Okay, so if you go up to the green bar, so there will be a button up there that will say shop, to get it right, shop online, oh, which will be decided. Okay. So, right yeah, there. way up at the top, yeah, oh, so um, that'll be up there, okay, so if you're if you're participating in this then that will the ten dollars would include being listed on this web page with a live link to your website okay if you don't have a web page we've got a solution for that we'll help you with that um, it will include being uh, one of the pin dots on the map okay we will also help to promote it through name by locals various social medias that we do facebook twitter and so forth uh, that we'll be doing on a regular basis um, and also text messaging um, we have a text messaging program that we use. We'll be able to take advantage of that. During the holidays, which is our Shift Your Shopping campaign, 
which takes place in November, December, we'll be hitting the shop online heavy during that time frame. It's a big holiday season, good uh, time for people uh, to be looking at local options as far as uh, uh, spending their holiday dollars are concerned. Uh, Cyber Monday, we will have a promotion with that. Remember, that's the Monday after Thanksgiving. That's the biggest uh, selling effort um, when it comes online. Okay, so we'll do a special promotion that day. Um, we'll have further details on that as we get closer to that. This year, Cyber Monday is actually in November. It's November 30th, the way the calendar ran, lands. So we'll be taking advantage of that. Um, and then we'll also be doing some blogs. And Alex, maybe you want to talk briefly about oh. the uh, sure, yeah. I was kind of going to throw that in with another... Well, if you want to talk about it later, we can... Okay. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. So, blogs will be another um, um, component of all of this, and that's something that we would ask you to help with, to help provide that content, um, and, and to uh, uh, build the, the base on that as well. Alex will talk about that further. Um, and then we'll also have a badge that you can put on your website that will drive traffic the other direction as well. Okay. Um, and of course, just being part of a larger group. So you think about um, a, a store being in a mall. Why are they in the mall? Or why are they in a strip mall, a uh, strip uh, shopping center uh, type of an arrangement? It's because they want to feed off the other customers, the other traffic that's coming through the door. So it would be the same thing with this. It's all electronic, but by all being together, we're all going to be able to feed off each other as a result of that, Dan? Sorry for a question in the middle that's that right. is directly related to that. Is there going to be a common cart among the stores where you would be able to so buy something from, you know, for today or to 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 Sure. So um, actually that was something, that was our initial idea. Uh, we did want to do that, uh, but we basically ran into an issue that in order to do that, we'd basically be replicating a site just like Etsy. Um, otherwise, it would have been placed in by local in a position where they would have had to be the sole transaction um, in between the customer and the company. Right. right? Well, I was so, wondering how you like if you're shipping from each of them. Right. Well, it would have been we we had a whole system worked out where it would have been like uh, drop ordering where you know if, if a customer made it made a purchase, it would automatically just send it out to the company who that product came from. But it placed um, placed in by local in an, in an uncomfortable scenario in terms sure. of. Um, Liability. Liability. Okay. Exactly. But, yeah. but so. it is something that we've talked about aspiring to when when this program takes off wildly <laughs> and we can uh, create some funds to be able to have something like that. Right. Yeah. We did very superficially look at what would it cost to put a program together like that and it ranged uh, twenty, I mean, thirty thousand dollars to one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, I mean the, depending upon what we actually do, Andy. Are we allowed to ask questions? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, I haven't looked at the name by, by local website in a while. Do people have, regular people, not business owners, do they have accounts on that on there yet? No. It's one idea that I've talked about even back in 05 was have some sort of community um, wish list so that, you know, basically you could have deemed by local be your tracking of your wish list. It wouldn't even have to be necessarily the real product just to a web page or your browser description. Browser. Mm -hmm. And that that would be like sort of a clearinghouse where you know everything in this thing county area what I would like for Christmas or for my birthday gotcha. or something yeah. like that. So I would like to throw that idea out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Is, there like a, is there a search like a search key to like um, certificates or um, candy? So <laughs> basically it boiled down to um, we couldn't really feasibly, with the current setup, set it up so that individual companies could have products on this page. It would basically just be your name up on a directory. And we decided that, you know, for even if you're spending ten dollars a month, it's not really worth it to have your name on a directory, right? So that's where the blogging component comes in. We really need we really need people that are involved with this to be contributing content to generate a community and create interest in. Um, not just the businesses on the page, but what they're actually doing. Okay. I think it would Answer your question on that. Oh, sorry. Uh, it, does that well, answer your question? I'm just wondering what would be the benefit, and, and I'm probably going to get into that, but just get my name on a directory and doing a blog once right. in a while, even if it is 10 months a month, is it worth my time to write? I mean, you know, 
So, do you have e-commerce now? No, we do. Okay. I, I'm not quite sure what I would even do, but we have some yeah. science stuff to work on. Yeah. So, um, it may make more sense once we get into the, yeah. Yeah. the meats uh, and of the uh, whole thing here. I just look to the major sponsors like WPS or if you can get Epic or anything like that. And again, as aid by local, you're our agent and you go to the HR and you say, listen, I know you have 7,000 employees. Can you direct them to us first before they go to Amazon? Mm -hmm. Like. She's all local anyway. She went yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Or whoever your sponsors are, like reaching out and being like, this is a great way, win win, local. Yep. Anyway, that's what I looked that would that's worth my money. Yep. And that, that is part of the game plan. Okay. Good. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think somebody kind of hinted at this, but it would be helpful to be in a directory if our directory listing were tagged with certain categories. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. if you have a you put in, I want gift certificates, or I want to buy experiences, or event tickets, and then you get a result that lists all of the members of the directory. Who yeah, I think that's one thing we talked about was sorting it by categories. Otherwise, it's just so, going to be, I, it would be irritating for me, I would go on. Yeah. yeah, we don't want it to be in alphabetical or anything yeah. like that, that won't do any good. Because people but, you may know, not even know I exist. Exactly. Because so otherwise, they, it's like going to the exactly. membership directory. And, right. I, I might as well not even Right. Do that, right. right, exactly. So I don't think that right there. <clears throat> if you um, scroll, oh yeah, yeah. there we go. So that's not specific enough. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Oh, I didn't see yeah. all that. Well, <laughs> we're we're working. Um, we're going to try to figure out a solution where all of this is dynamically generated. So like, if you if you know there will be like a category section, and it's like, well, you know, I don't want to scroll through all of these. I just want, you know, like water or something. Right. Yeah. You know, and you and then you click on it, and then it would say, well, these are. These are some businesses that might provide something like that. Right, like if we had the ability to put category tags in our profile, and then there was like a category cloud where you could see all the categories right. that exist and click that into it. Other questions at this point? Do you know how many visitors you get to the website? About uh, 15,000 15, page views a month currently. Do you know how many of those are unique? Um, not off the top of my head, I don't. <laughs> I have the data, but now with yeah, yeah. Uh, will you also? I know you're going to be elaborating on the blogs later. Will you also be elaborating on the social media and text messaging and all that aspect? Because I would love to know more about how you plan to use that line to. Um, well, as, or third line down. Yeah, as far as uh, do you have some specific questions on that? Well, is, would you include specific business names, or is it just oh. going to be about this product here? We'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> Got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, anything else? Okay. All right. So, um, so part of the benefit here is, is we're all working together and, and supporting each other as far as local is concerned. And and just like a strip mall or a shopping center or whatever, um, you know, they're all working together. You're feeding off each other. So that's part of the benefit here as well. And one of the things that gets lost in all of the conversation many times that uh, the office is just the point of being local supporting each other just you know that's an important component what we've got going on here in Madison we've got a great opportunity you know Dane by local is the largest county size by local group in the country we're bigger than Chicago New York anywhere else uh, we have almost 800 members Louisville is number two and they have about 700 members Chicago is less than 300, okay? Why? It's not because of population, it's because people here in Madison get it. We understand the importance of local. So we need to support that, we need to carry that through, and, and it takes all of us to do that, you know, and we all have to work together uh, to pull this together. So we see this as an opportunity to try to keep moving that forward and, and spreading that word as far as supporting local. Dan? Is there any, and you might get to this or it may just be a future thing, um, like cross promotion um, support that may be added? Like we work with a couple, some are DBL members, some are not, um, where like a massage part, uh, and spa place that where we sell packages where you can get a massage and a box of chocolates and they sell the same thing and they get our chocolates and we're able to sort of cross promote each other. We do it with a flower shop and with a couple different businesses. Sure. And yeah. so that kind of ability would be good too where we if you have things that go well together between the businesses where you could offer some sort of combination. Sure. Package. Yeah. Um, not something that we've discussed. Um, good idea though. Um, 
you know, it's certainly something that you could, on an individual basis, do without any problem based on the program that we've got here. Um, if there's a way for us to facilitate that, or if you come to us and say, I'm looking for a flower shop, who would you recommend? We can absolutely connect the dots uh, on that sort of thing, absolutely. Um, you know, that's, that's what we're all about, is, is connecting everybody together. Okay, um, so as it points out there, it's $10 a month, or if you um, pay in a lump sum of $100, you get a little bit of a discount, and this is with a, a one-year commitment. Um, and this is only available to Dane by local members. You have to be a member to be able to sign up for this, okay? All right, so as we mentioned, one of the issues, one of the questions that comes up is how to handle payment. So Mason from Modus Financial is going to talk about that. Modus Financial is our preferred uh, credit card processing uh, company that we work with. They're a member of Dane Bay Local, based in Sun Prairie. Um, and so Mason will explain to you how this works. He's got it all down pat and can make it a lot less painful for you <laughs> in the long run. So with that, so Mason. So for those of us who have a website right now, <coughs> yes. uh, we're already sending credit cards. Um, is that what Mason is going to be covering now? Sure. All right, super. All <laughs> yeah, right. We, we can get down to that. Um, why don't I just take a total pullback and explain a little bit about um, our relationship with DBL as a whole, right? So, um, just about every business that, for sure, has some kind of web presence for e-commerce or even brick and mortar has credit card payment capabilities of some kind, right? And that's being provided by some company, generally out of state. Um, and uh, my business partner and I started this four years ago uh, with two goals. One is to help other local businesses and the other is to generate some loyal clientele. Um, the mission that we have lines directly with Dane by Local, which is why we got involved, right? And um, what we provide as um, kind of a walk the walk element is uh, we share revenue with Dane by Local at 20% of the profitability that's generated from any of our clients that participate in the program. Does that make sense? So that same amount of money that would have went to Georgia or Colorado or New York or overseas <laughs> Uh, is being shared locally in at least two different ways, right? One directly with Modus and the second with DBI. Does that make sense? Um, we have a tremendous amount of expertise with e-commerce. We've got clients that do $60 million a year. We've got clients that do $60,000 in two years. I mean, you know, we've got large and small clients. Does that make sense? Everywhere in between. Um, setting up e-commerce is kind of a can be a complicated thing depending on how you're trying to do it and what you're using and who you're dancing with and what they know and what you know, right? So there's a lot of variables involved. Uh, the package that um, the technology committee and Dane by Local um, has put together with Great Reality is a really easy way to kind of press the cookie, <laughs> right? Does that make sense? So. Um, that package is inexpensive, it's easy to turn around, just kind of a turnkey solution, supported locally by two different vendors. Uh, the, are you already, um, Okay, we'll get to that later. <laughs> I think, whatever that was. Um, all right, so from a general standpoint, man, credit card processing cost businesses somewhere between 2.5% and 4% national, right? Go to dark, hit a business. 3%, whatever it is, um, depending on the arrangement they got. Um, locally, you know, our clients tend to be a little bit underneath that, somewhere between 175 and two and a quarter, but it depends on seven different variables <laughs> on every transaction, what that cost is gonna be. But our job is to make sure our clients are playing, paying as little as is necessary to make everything fit together. Does that make sense? Um, setting up this program, you know, depending on the payment technology, we'll get into that probably later for the compatible payment gateways for e-commerce, but that set of costs is like 50 bucks. 
So I'm not talking about a major investment. We ordinarily use, um, our traditional accounts are about $200 a setup, just for underwriting, background checks, and all that kind of stuff, and we've waived that for DBL members. Um, so what would otherwise probably be at least a $350 setup cost is trimmed right down to 50 bucks. And do you work with zip codes? Yes. Uh, do you help with the PCI um, reports and all that kind of stuff? Yep. For $50? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, PCI compliance on our preferred platform, we don't charge for it. Right? If for some reason we have to board that on a different platform, and I'm getting into the weeds here, but each platform has its own peculiarities to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and some of those can be 75 bucks a year or whatever, but yeah, on our preferred platform, it's per se. People that don't understand what you're talking about, can you just briefly So, yeah, industry compliance, right? So, uh, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, and a Japanese card bank called JCB set up their own self-governing body so that they could uh, pacify federal regulation. Uh, to protect sensitive payment data, right? This is just after the TJ Maxx breach in like 2004, 2005. And um, they said we better get ahead of this train from a data breach standpoint before we get it forced down our throats. So they put together a committee and they set aside best practices and say if you're gonna take payments, online or otherwise, there are some at least minimum standards that you should be adhering to. Make sure that when your customer pays you, that you're not haphazardly storing or transmitting, communicating, or just giving away that information to whoever wants it. Does that make sense? So there are data security standards, best practices, encryption protocols, employee handbook parameters. There's all kinds of stuff that's involved with becoming PCI compliant. We help our clients achieve that however possible. It's a mess, it's a headache, it's awful, but it's as easy as it can be with our preferred platform, so. Just to verify, I know I'm pick, being too picky here, but, but obviously if somebody has their own phone that they take swipes on or that they do their own processing in the house and stuff like that, yeah. your PCI that you're talking about, that you're covering, is only for e-commerce for a situation that you've set up, not for any other scenario, right? The answer to that is, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. sometimes, right? So you can have those two things separated, or if it makes sense, we can aggregate all that stuff into one experience. Most of my customers end up, you know, having one report, right. and they're talking about all these different avenues of payment, and yeah. that's it's a nightmare. Not anything you can cover for fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, I just walked through a questionnaire for a client just before I got here. It took me like forty minutes. Well, I did it for free. <laughs> so he, he doesn't. You could combine it all together. Yeah, and it's so. fifty bucks to set it all up. Yep, all that stuff's totally possible. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> are you serving as the merchant services yep. um, provider and then yeah. you'd sign up with like an authorized.net for the gateway? Yes. Yeah, That's paying a gateway like that. It could be exactly authorized.net or USAE pay would be less expensive. Okay. Same concept, just no 10 cent transaction. Sure. So, um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of ways to get this stuff done. Um, let's see. Yeah, so any profitability that's generated, the main point is we're not going to cause any financial damage, right? We're all going to be the exact same or less expensive than what somebody's paying, and then whatever profitability is generated out of that, 20% goes right to DBL. Make sense? Recognized business plan isn't to build mansions that you can see from anywhere in Madison. Right? <laughs> we're here to support our fellow local businesses. We're here. We've been doing this a long time, right? But um, there's a whole bunch of ways that uh, aren't gonna lead to a happy community reputation and we try to avoid as many of those as possible. That makes sense? So not everybody's gonna be a client of ours, but ones who do generally have pretty big smiles on their face. So. Question? So I'll just mention that there, I've gone through two conversions with Modus Financial. So businesses that were using something else and then switched uh, to Modus. And both of them were much easier than I expected. 
Um, the big one was in Milwaukee, and that was I was shocked how easy that was. Yeah. I mean, it, it takes a little work. It took what half a day to get all the details figured out. Yeah, yeah, we had to coordinate some stuff. So, yeah, and they had they had accounts in all these various different places, um, but it was they they know what they're doing. Um, it, um, maybe you want to talk about your background a little bit. Where where you before? Morris? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go back there. Um, Rick and I both came from a technology company that was owned by a small community bank you may have heard of called M and I Bank. Um, and uh, so they owned a technology company uh, that started in 1964, and they provided technology services to hundreds and thousands of banks across the planet. Right. Our business unit, uh, by the time I left there, we had 600 banks across the country and about 80,000 merchants as clients. Yeah. Anyway, eventually Rick or I or both were going to have to get divorced or move or whatever if we wanted to stay there, and we said, forget that. So, start our own company. That's the short story. <laughs> Very short story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so any other questions? For those, for those of us who have, um, like right now I'm <clears throat> on Big Commerce and I've got two different um, credit card, I guess it's uh, Stripe and Paypal. PayPal. <clears throat> How easy is it for me to switch that over to you? What does that require? What do you need from me to switch it over? Have you ever done paperwork? No. <laughs> With Ever. What'd you say? Paperwork? Paperwork. 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 Uh -huh. I said paperwork. It requires some paperwork, some yeah. time, yeah. right? All right. And 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, right. But uh, the technology configuration element is a breeze, right? We set up two identifiers there's a login ID and an API key. So. Right. And we copy yeah, and paste those. Big commerce and swap out. You take out the code that's in there now that's linking into those and you plug in their piece of code and you're done. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Easy peasy. Yeah. The big counter stuff, that's hard. That's not my job. That's, that's somebody else's job. That's that's where Alex comes yep. in. So yeah. any other questions?